Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And we're here to test a 2014 model DVD player and its switch mode power supply. So what we're looking at is the oscilloscope. And you can see in red we have a nice sine wave from the AC electrical system. And in yellow, we have the current waveform, and we have no waveform right now because our DVD player is switched off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch on the DVD player, power supply. So the player is off right now, but the power supply is on. So the player is actually going through some kind of initialization that it goes through when you first switch it on and it's now switched off and you see that we've, even though it's switched off we've got these little pulses of energy and let's take a little look at that so that's what our waveform looks like when the DVD player is off on the current so you can see we've got little spikes of current being drawn from the electrical system and in addition we've got a lot of noise on this waveform that the power supply seems to create. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to knock that display back down to our little pulses and I'm actually going to switch on the DVD player. So I've just press the on button and the DVD player is warming up. And you can see on this particular model that it's actually drawing the current off the electrical system in spikes. And what that does is it creates harmonics on the electrical system, and harmonics are very undesirable, as they can cause strange frequencies to start radiating off the electrical system. Uh, we're going to take a little look at a function called the fast Fourier transform function. And this is what the harmonics look like. So we actually have 20 decibels per division in the vertical direction. Uh, we're currently on 500 hertz per division in the horizontal direction. And all these spikes are what are known as the harmonics. So if we were taking a pure sine wave off the system, we would only have the first spike, and that would be the fundamental frequency, and all these other spikes wouldn't be present. But all these other spikes are actually a feature of switch mode power supplies, which is what we're looking at right now. And I'm going to expand that out a little bit and we can see how far those harmonics go. Okay, so we're on 100 kilohertz per division in the horizontal direction. And we can see that there's a harmonic right here, so we're on 10 kilohertz per division. So there's a little harmonic around 90 kilohertz. So that will be causing an emission. And if we come back down to here, you can see there's another little spike there. So we're at 1 kilohertz per division. That spike is just short of 10 kilohertz. So let's go to this display. So we're back on our original display of 500 hertz per division in the horizontal direction. And as you can see, there's a lot of harmonics coming out of this power supply. So let's go back to the original waveform and see how it looks. So that's what we're looking at. So that's a 2014 model switch mode power supply on a consumer electronic product. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.